clock yeah but yeah man so you see the two-thirds all right when they receive this type of chastisement from the heavenly father what do they do man they turn around and they lash out and and, and, and cleave tighter to the creation cleave tighter to esau man jump to different ways uh, 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 false remedies rather than cleaving unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. So when you're going through hell, when you're going through particular things, no one understand the only remedy we have, the only way to get better is through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. That's why you've been put through the situation you are going through, man. All right, let me go ahead and go on. It says, Colossians 3 and 22 servants obey in all things your masters according to the flesh not with eye service as men pleasers but in singleness of heart fearing God because God is the one that killeth and maketh alive man you see not Esau not 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 the apostles not the elders you see ain't nobody's gonna come and physically you know harm you or whatever the case may be man at the end of the day the most high will again let's grab it again man <clears throat> First Samuel Chapter 1 Oh, so like it Chapter 2 And verse uh, 6 The Lord, Yahweh Killeth and maketh alive He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up Yahweh maketh poor And maketh rich Cleaving to the Most High is what's gonna get you Out of your situations, man Alright Going on, it says he bringeth low and lifteth up. And you see, this is what's going to get us through what? Jacob's trouble and through everything in between now and then, man. He raiseth up the poor from the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set among the princes to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are Yahweh's. The, the he everything is the most highest, man. As I said earlier, what? He, 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 uh, uh. What does the scripture say? He sets the bounds of the ocean, man. The ocean cannot move further unless the heavenly father causes it to do so, man. Reminds me of Antiochus. When Antiochus, what, 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 what did the Apocrypha say? This man thought he could command the waves of the sea. And all of a sudden, the heavenly father brought him to a point uh, uh, of he couldn't even stand his own stench because his insides were being eaten and rotten from the inside out by maggots, man. By worms Nebuchadnezzar thought he was something special man because the Heavenly Father gave him a little piece of power what happened to him man the Heavenly Father brought him to the point of thinking that he was a damn cow you see and Esau and all his power has the two-thirds bamboozled thinking he's some sort of power to be feared hey you about to be sorely sorry for cleaving it tighter to Esau and by taking his uh his karagma man you see his uh uh his mark which is i'm just gonna say it the rfid microchip man all right let me go ahead and grab uh this is um proverbs 21 and uh one the king's heart is in the hand of yahweh as the rivers of water he turneth it whithersoever he will so you say hey, all Every manner of flesh is on this earth is the vessel of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shabbat. The Heavenly Father, if He wants wrath to come forth, He's going to set up a vessel to bring that forth. If He wants to show forth His mercies, He's going to set forth a vessel to show His mercies, man. Let me go ahead and grab another one. This is Romans chapter 9. And, uh, Verse 22, what if God willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. So the heavenly father wanting to show his wrath, you see, set up a vessel of wrath. And at the end of the day, he's going to put the cherry on top of this cake, man, so to speak, by what? Destroying this vessel of wrath himself to show forth his power, man. Verse 23, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy so the world is going to both see the power of the heavenly father through wrath and the power of the heavenly father through his mercies man bringing us minute little us up from this low condition man out of all these people in this world the most high chose us to be quickened 
you see keep that as a, as a drive you see as a piece of motivation to continue pushing and striving against the wiles of this world man we have been called to serve Yahweh, the creator not no manner of the flesh this is all of Yahweh by shim yahushai which he set up his order to get us through man so we could stay in the spirit so we could so we could make it to that point of salvation all right finishing that verse it says um which he had afore prepared unto glory so the, before the even the creation the heavenly father set everything the way it was supposed to be this man's going to be the elect this man's going to be the wicked this man's going to be the two-third here you go this is my edomite I, that, look at him he got the weapon all this that and the third man the heavenly father is the conductor the creator the potter and all we are is the clay man with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and uh, and end it there all right no i didn't want to make it too long man unfortunately the, the video had cut but uh but yeah i think i think the point's been made man so lord willing this uh video was edifying i'm gonna give all praises honor and glory unto yahweh bahashim yahweh shah bahashim dash double honors unto the elders and the apostles at gms gray millstone and peace love blessing salutations under you sincere sincere members of the elect out there man doing the best to make the calling of your election sure coming out of the ways of this world all right and, and, and Lord willing, those of you who are who are doing so, man, endure. You see, you're gonna be hit from all angles of this world. And let me go ahead and, and end it with one more scripture, man. It's lucky. All right, this is uh, this is First Thessalonians three, and uh, verse two. It says, "And sent Timotheus, our brother, and minister of God." And our fellow laborer of the gospel, you see, a laborer of the gospel. You've been called to labor, you've been called to push this word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Amashayak, to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith, that no man should be moved by these afflictions. You're going to be hit by all aspects of shit in this world, man. All right? But at the end of the day, the Heavenly Father, all right, is going gonna, is gonna to bring us through whatever it is, man. At the end of the day, all we got to do is cleave tighter to the Most High when we go through these things, man. The world's going to cleave tighter to Esau and, and whatever else. The elect are going to cleave tighter to the Most High, man. Going on. For yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. We, hey, we've been appointed to what? To, to, to suffer, to go through it, man. Verse 4. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation even as it came to pass you know so you see man we're gonna go through particular things but at the end of the day man all right you it you cleave tighter to the to yahweh by shim yahweh shai upon these things like i said man he chose minute little us out of all these people in the world all right so so that's heavy man that's heavy so lord willing you know you uh uh you know you sincere all right akim wa out there man endure you see, whatever it is that, that has brought your way and pray for mercy, man. You see, pray for, for, for mercy and the heavenly fathers will be done, man. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And Lord willing, for those of us who have been called who are sincere, that will be uh, uh, merciful on our end, man. Okay, as it is written, the mo the, as a father pities his son, the most high pities those that fear him. And we fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which is why we are here. Shalom. Call la yim la yahu ba shimi